Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. It has been reported that the world-renowned and highly trusted Smithsonian Institution was allegedly accused in a lawsuit of covering up the existence of giant humans in our past. Some of their skulls may have had horns, others double rows of teeth, some supposedly had six fingers and elongated heads and carried giant weapons. According to the report, a ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court is what forced the world's largest museum to release classified documents from its early 19th century archives, going far in proving the allegations. Indeed, a surprising number of reports of giant skeletons do exist in old newspapers. All the same, you might want to take these claims with a bag of salt. Number 7. Human Skulls with Horns a creepy human skull with horns was claimed to have been found along multiple horned skulls and seven feet skeletons to go with some of them. The obviously human remains were allegedly excavated from an ancient burial mound near Sayre, Pennsylvania in the 1880s. The horns were about five centimeters, two inches in length, pointed and extended from just above the eyebrows. The excavation was supposedly done by a trusted group of investors including Dr. G. P. Dunhu, who was the Pennsylvania state historian, and two professors, A. B. Skinner and W. K. Moorhead. The remains were thought to have been buried around A.D. 1200. They eventually ended up in Philadelphia at the American Investigating Museum, but were apparently stolen and haven't been seen since. There have been claims of horned human skulls excavated in Texas and New York as well. Number 6 the biggest skeleton ever found. On January 21, 1899, the Miamisburg Daily Telegraph printed the headline, Gigantic Body Recovered, right after the largest human skeleton ever, or so they thought at the time, was reportedly discovered in Ohio. Scientists estimated the person was just over 244 centimeters or eight feet tall. The strange remains were excavated by Edward Kaufman and Edward Gebhardt, about 0.8 kilometers, half a mile from Miamisburg, in an area known to contain artifacts from the early Native American mound builders who lived in the area millennia ago. What apparently really puzzled the archaeologists was that the bones were fossilized, suggesting a very extreme prehistoric age. Another perplexing problem was the creature's apparent physique, which was allegedly proportioned like a human, but had a skull more like that of a gorilla. Number 5. The San Diego Giant On October 7, 1895, a paper called The World reported that the biggest giant ever known had been dug up near San Diego. The newspaper article went on to describe the discovery of a 274 centimeter or 9 foot tall mummified Native American and claimed that the find was well authenticated by scientists. This included Professor Thomas Wilson, the curator of the Department of Prehistoric Anthropology at the Smithsonian Institution and others. At the time, they didn't have the luxury of carbon-14 dating so they had to use local records, which went back some 250 years. The scientists were said to be puzzled by the fact that there was no mention of a people with this type of gigantism in the archives. Of course, Native American legend wouldn't count or be reported in papers. The mummy was thought to be prehistoric and had the remains of some kind of hood on its head. They also determined that the being was very old in age when he died. Others branded the San Diego giant as a hoax. Number 4. A Giant Mystery in Wisconsin The New York Times reported on May 4, 1912, the wild discovery of 18 giant skeletons in southwestern Wisconsin. The human remains were excavated by the Peterson brothers near Lake Delavan with, quote, several strange and freakish features. They ranged in height from 7 feet 7 inches to 10 feet tall with huge elongated skulls much longer than any other North American race known at the time. Number 3. The Mysterious Mounds of Iowa Archaeologists supposedly came upon some very strange scenes when they started excavating Native American burial grounds around the state of Iowa. 
A newspaper article from 1897 describes it as a matter of official record that scientists dug up the bones of seven foot six inch giant human skeleton. Unfortunately, the bones crumbled to dust when brought out into the air, but the team did find many artifacts with the corpse. These artifacts strongly suggest he was of high status in more ways than one. In another Iowa mound, archaeologists allegedly uncovered a large chamber in which they found 11 skeletons, all kneeling with their backs to the wall. They were arranged in a circle around a giant seashell that they used to drink from. Mass suicide, maybe? They also found a curious copper-colored dust that gave out such a stench when disturbed to the point that they had to quit working until it dissipated. They believed it was dust from the dead after being deboned and cremated, something early Native Americans were thought to have practiced. Number 2. Absolutely Gigantic Believe it or not, it was reported in 2015 that what may be the largest human skeleton ever found was unearthed near Ayers Rock. A team of archaeologists from the University of Adelaide supposedly excavated the skeleton, which is a whopping 17 feet 4 inches tall. A man identified as Professor Hans Zimmer of the University of Adelaide was forced to concede the discovery of the Uluru archaeological site already took us by surprise, but this new find is just jaw-dropping. Theoretically, a 5 meter tall hominid cannot exist. Is this report even true? If it is, how could such a giant be possible? The alleged gigantic human specimen was found near the only known megalith ruins in Australia, which also perplexes the scientists even more. Number 1. The Cardiff Giant Outdawn This was the headline in an 1870 edition of Oil City Times, which was reporting the find in West Hickory, Pennsylvania of not only the largest human skeleton ever reported being discovered, but the strangest too. The being they excavated was estimated to have been an enormously ridiculous 18 feet tall. Even more bizarre, they reportedly found a huge rusty iron helmet and giant sword 9 feet long. They also reported that the skeleton was in excellent condition and very white and that the teeth were all there and in place in the huge skull and were of double rows. Interestingly enough, the bones were claimed to have been excavated from a depth of 12 feet, which makes sense. It would be logical to think that a body that size would have to be buried much deeper than 1.8 meters, 6 feet, right? Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.